Hi, welcome to another Unity tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to apply the new post processing stack to your camera. In versions of Unity before 5.6, to add in the image effects, you used to be able to select assets, import package, and go to effects and grab all of the different scripts you could add onto your camera. They've actually gone. If you do this and download it, you'll get a empty image script file with a little message in there saying download the post processing stack which is this one here so search for this in the asset store and then import that into your project once you've done that you'll find a post processing folder in your project window now you don't need to touch anything that's in there all the functionality ends up being in the menu system so first of all we're going to grab our camera which is where these post processing effects actually go because they affect not your interior 3D scene they actually sit over the top so they're affecting and processing the flat video image that is coming out of the whole rendering process so I'm going to show you this on a scene that I'm just working on for another project at the moment uh, but I'll add it to the main camera. So you find your main camera and then add component. And just type in uh, post processing and you'll find the post processing behavior. And you can add that to your camera. Now this post processing behavior needs a profile. And this is a little bit like the animation. We have to set up an animator and add that to um, an animated character in the mech anim system. Anyway, to do that, I'll put it in the top asset folder. We go create, and now you'll find in this menu a post processing profile that you can create. So let's just create one and call it um, I don't know, my profile. Because you might have these on multiple cameras, so you could have a lot of them. And then select your camera again and look down through the inspector till you'll find the profile and drag and drop the one you just created onto that profile. Now, if you select that profile over in the assets folder, you will find access to all of those scripts that used to come with the image effects. And all you have to do is turn them on or off in the profile that you've got attached to the camera and therefore you can add many different profiles and put them on the camera and this will take care of all the effects that you used to apply by dragging the scripts onto the camera instead so for example we could turn on ambient occlusion uh, we could turn on depth of field and if you want to change the settings just click on the bar and you will be able to change things like the focal distance and the aperture size and those sorts of things for all of those post image effects. Now, the important thing to remember is that for each one of these, it has to apply these algorithms on every single frame that you're rendering out. So if you add, well, you're probably not gonna add all of these, are you? That would be ridiculous, but it does affect the processing the more that you do have. Now remember, if you enjoy listening to my YouTube channel, please help support it. You can subscribe to become a patron of the channel, which will give you access to all of the files, um, including the project files that I create. And I also have courses on Udemy, so please check them out.